Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a look and feel video comparison between MX Linux 21 on the left hand side versus KDE Neon 5 on the right hand side here. So these are actually quite similar on the back end and the front end, although they are customized a little bit differently. So you can see we've got the skinnier menu for MX Linux, uh, so both running the KDE Plasma desktops there as we can see. It's all categorized for all of your apps, so the internet, office apps, system apps and so forth, and you've got your little search menu there. I do like the way that KDE Neon has actually set up its uh, front end though, it just seems a little bit nicer, although I do enjoy the dark mode of MX Linux for sure. Uh, if we have a look at the file managers, these guys are actually going to be exactly the same. So we are dealing with the uh, the uh, the Dolphin file manager, although we've got slightly different icon sets for each of them there, but basically the same the way that both of these work here. Now under the hood, uh, if we were to take a little bit of a peek there, we'll have a look at the kernel. So we're using the 5.10 kernel for MX Linux 21, uh, whereas KDE Neon 5 is running on the 5.13 kernel, so a little bit newer to say the least. Reason being is that uh, the MX Linux on the left hand side is actually running on the, the Debian backend, so it's an older but more stable kernel, you can say. Whereas on the right hand side, we are actually, it's actually running on Ubuntu as the backend, which in turn runs on uh, Debian, so crazy, am I right? So, in other words, it does use a slightly newer kernel, better for later and greater hardware in comparison between the two here. But do, uh, yeah, just always take these sort of videos with a grain of salt, particularly for this next part here when it comes down to the RAM usage on boot up. So MX Linux is running at 644 megabytes of RAM on boot up. It's doing okay. Uh, KDE Neon 5 is running at 530 megabytes of, uh, of RAM on boot up. So it seems to be a bit optimized better somehow there, maybe because it's got a, what I believe is a less customized Plasma desktop environment there as opposed to MX, which isn't, uh, yeah, a little bit, it looks smaller, but it is more customized for sure. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.